Yo guys, what's up? It's Ryan from Tower Reviews, and here we've got an iOS 5 white iPhone. 4. And an iOS 4. Point, I'm not sure what this is on. Uh, You're turning it off. 4.2.8 it's on right now. So it's on 4.2.8. Which is the latest of the 4. Point um, oh, software. So in this video, we're mainly focusing on the speed to see if iOS 5 is uh, less efficient and if it makes the iPhone slower. Um, we're not going to be doing any. We're not going to be showing any of the new features, as most of you have probably seen them. We're probably going to upload a separate video for that once we get everything sorted out, because we've been having a lot of trouble uh, getting them all situated and updated and everything. Yeah, just a quick um, note, like note to tell you guys, if you watch this video right now, um, the Apple has been having a extremely big problem with their update. Uh, just for the pure fact that their servers can't handle all the people that are trying to update it. So you're going to be getting an error message. Uh, I believe it's 3200. It's going to happen right after your iPhone tries to extract the software. All right, so here we have a closer view of the two devices. You got some, a little bit of differences here with the notification center, iMessage, iCloud, a whole bunch of new features in iOS 5 that I'm sure most of you have been hearing about since Apple released it. I believe at the beginning of the summer. Now you also got newsstand, but we're going to be doing a pretty standard video here where we just test out the speed of the two iPhones. Um, so we're going to start out by turning them off and then powering them back on. Alright, so it looks like the iPhone running iOS 4 turned off a bit faster, but that doesn't really matter all that much. Let's see how they do turning back on. iOS 5 a lot faster all right um, so next we're gonna do some apps actually we're gonna load some web pages first so they are both on 3G uh, on Verizon Wireless's network but we're gonna be running it on Wi-Fi Alright, iOS 5 beat iOS 4. So it seems so far that it's faster. Let's load. We're gonna load YouTube, but we're gonna go to the desktop page. Alright, so here we go, we're gonna load the desktop. So pretty close, but iOS 5 definitely won. Alright, next we're gonna open some apps that both phones or operating systems have in common starting with the App Store so go to top 25 alright looks like they're pretty much the same uh, next let's load up iTunes iOS 5 one alright guys uh, so as you can see, if you guys were worried about iOS 5 slowing down your device, it's quite the opposite. It's actually it actually looks like it's a lot faster. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Update.